Many Samsung Galaxy device owners have likely heard of the Good Lock module system already. That provides you with various modules to include advanced features for One UI. If you're not aware of that module system though, I'll be sure to include an overview guide that I have already done on Good Lock down in the video description below, as well as the pinned comment. However, some of you may have not heard of the Good Guardians application. This app was previously called Galaxy Labs, but it received a new name when the company expanded its features to include a battery tracker, an app booster, a battery guardian, thermal guardian, memory guardian, and what they are calling the media file guardian. So today, I'll give you a brief overview of the Good Guardians application, show you how to install it, and then how you can activate the various modules that are offered within it. Sadly, this application is only officially available in the United States, Europe, Vietnam, South Korea, and in China. However, I suspect that everyone will be able to sideload the application or the individual modules no matter which country you live in, just like we saw with the GoodLock module system. And we can download this application by first launching the Galaxy App Store. From here, we're going to do a search for the word Good Guardians. And if the application is available for you and for your device, then you should see the result appear at the top here. We, we are, are told, told this application includes the ability to install modules for a battery tracker, which lets you know the usage of applications within a day or a week in your selected time, the battery guardian module, detects bad apps behavior and does not allow them to run on your device. The Galaxy App Booster will transfer executable files of each app to help boost their performance. The Thermal Guardian module offers a way to track and manage your, the temperature on your device. It provides ways to detect the source of heating, like excessive battery, CPU usage, and more. We have the Memory Guardian module, which includes a way to track the device's performance based on memory usage and provides functions to clean up the memory as well. And lastly, we have the Media File Guardian, which includes ways to delete hidden files for edited versions. And it also includes solutions to clean media files that are no longer working on your device. Once the Good Guardians application has been installed, let's go ahead and launch it. And you'll see some instructions to follow when you first begin using the application. I remember there being a prompt to install a Good Guardian agent application. And then after that is installed, it will then instruct you to manually enable notifications for that agent app. So that way it can remind you to uninstall it if you ever decide to remove the Good Guardians app from your device. Once you have completed the setup process, you can then begin checking out the various modules that are offered. Now, just like with the Good Lock application, each of these modules need to be manually installed. So, if you want to use the battery tracker, you're gonna to need to tap on that battery tracker, and then you'll want to manually install that from the Galaxy Store. Once that has been installed, we can go back to the Good Guardians app, and you'll see there is no longer a Galaxy Store icon for the Galaxy Tracker. And once I tap on it, it will actually open up that specific module.
Having all of these modules handled individually is a nice feature in my opinion, since I may personally not feel the need to use the media file guardian, for example. So having less modules installed and active on my device is something that I like. However, if this is your first time using the Good Guardians application, then it's probably going to be a good idea for you to go through and install all of these modules. That way you can go through them and figure out if they offer any features that would be useful to you. Now, I plan on going through and making separate videos for standout features that are offered in these individual modules. So for now, I would like to hear which good guardian modules that you use on your Samsung Galaxy device, along with which features you find to be the most useful to you. And please, do not forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Samsung Galaxy content like this.